Hi. In this video you would learn how to import the COVID data from a website and then create an animated chart using GG Plot and GG Animate. You would need the following libraries. Now, we will read the data from the website aworldanddata.org. The file contains the cumulative numbers of COVID infections on a daily basis. Let us run the code and view the data which we have downloaded. Each country's data is stored in a separate column. We would need to convert this wide data to a long format. This can be done by using the MALP command. We would use the date as the ID. Our data has successfully been converted to a long format. Notice that the new table has only three columns. Column 1 has the date. Column 2 is called as variable and contains the name of each country. Column 3 is called as value and contains the number of patients. There might be some rows where the countries did not provide the total numbers and will have blanks. We can choose to make them zero, but then a chart will have dips. Another way is to use the average value based on the previous day and the next day. This process is called as imputation. We will use the zoo package to approximate the missing values. After running the approximate command we have imputed the missing values. In this example we can see that the new value is the average of the previous and the next date's total numbers. Our data is now ready for plotting. We will use six countries for the sake of a plot. We have selected countries which have a mix of high, medium and low total numbers. Let us create a plot using GG plot. We will plot the dots using the GM point command. We will also plot the lines using the GM line command. We will use the theme BW. The transition reveal command helps us to add the magic of animation to our chart. This command is from the GG animate package which we called at the start of our script. The scale color brew command can be used to set the palette of colors which we want in our charts. Scale Y continuous command can be used to select the breaks on the Y axis. Labels equals comma option ensures that we see the big numbers properly formatted. We are using the facet wrap command so that we can plot a separate chart for each country. Set the title which should appear at the top of our chart. Set the subtitle. Note that we have put some variables in there. The GG animate creates 100 frames by default. This command simply shows the frame number which is being shown in the animation. Add the caption which appears at the bottom of the chart. Finally, set the X and Y axis labels. Now display the chart on screen. As this is an animated chart, it will first gets rendered and then it will appear on your screen. OK. We have our animated chart working on the screen. You might have noticed that the countries with low overall numbers simply appear as a straight line. There are different options to fix it. However, in our example we use a log 10 based scale on Y axis to improve our chart. You would have seen similar charts on TV and websites. We are going to transform a scale from linear to a log 10 based scale. 
you will notice that we have commented out the scale Y continuous command and use the scale Y log 10 command, which will transform the Y axis scale. Highlight the script for the chart and run it. Again, it will take some time to render the chart before it appears on screen. The new chart is now loaded and displayed on screen. Notice that the ticks of the Y axis have changed and you can see all the country's data in a better way. Log 10 scale is 1, 10, 100, 1000, and so on. The next value is 10 times the previous value. The ticks on the y-axis has adjusted in such a way that each bump in the chart will represent an equal growth or decline. For example, where a country goes from 100 to 1000, rise in the chart will be similar to a country going from 10,000 to 100,000. How would the chart look like when we have all the countries in a single chart? We have removed the facet wrap command so that we can plot all the countries in a single chart. OK, the chart is now rendered on screen. We can see that the countries with lower numbers are shown in a meaningful way along with countries with very high totals. Let us make some more customization to the Y scale. High numbers and R often are displayed as scientific notation in the charts. But we don't want that to happen, so one way to fix it is, let us create our own custom breaks in the Y axis. One of the ways is to define your own vector with the breaks which you want to show. Notice that we have changed our Y scale to scale Y continuous. We will use the trans equals log trans in the breaks option. We are using our own defined vector of breaks. Now set the title, subtitle, caption and the X and Y labels. Highlight the chart script and click on run. Notice that the y-axis ticks are changed to a custom defined breaks. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on the subscribe button to support us.